Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how to create selection menus, drop-down menus, for web forms. Okay, so I've been making a number of different form elements, and you can grab this demo file that I'm working on. It's in the video. The link is in the video description, right below the video, so check that out. And what I want to do now is I want to create a drop-down form. So back over on our, um, here we go, this is the advanced search over at Flickr's uh, website and of course they have a drop-down menu the default in there is photos taken and then they have drop down and you can choose one other option so basically two choices and let's see over at Zappos do they have any in here sure they do so over at the Zappos contact form they have a drop-down menu for the subject basically regarding and you have multiple choices notice that their default one is please select one so it kind of forces you to choose one as opposed to keeping at uh, keeping it at that top default. So I'll talk about that in just a second. All right, so let's go into creating our select menu. Jump back over to my editor, and I've got a new section all set up, ready to go with a set of form tags and a submit button. Of course, these are non-functioning forms that I'm making here. They have no action there. They have no uh, server-side processor or script. Okay, so start off very similar. I'm going to have a label, and I think I'll go ahead and call this state. Now. In between my opening and closing label tags, I'm going to create a select menu. Okay, so this is going to be a set of select tags. There's my closing select. And in between the opening and closing select tags, I get a series of options. Okay? And just as an example, my first option will be choose state, closing option tag. And I'm going to go ahead and create a couple more here. I'll put in the Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Excellent. So in between the opening and closing select tags, you're going to have multiple options. And that's actually enough to create the select menu right there. And sure enough, there's my label for state, my drop down menu. Notice choose state, which is the very first option. It shows the first option by default. And then I get my drop down where I can choose other options. However, I am leaving out a couple important things. Whenever you're doing options for a label, you really do need to have a value in there. For my first one, I'm just going to do value equals null. I'll just copy and paste. This will be value fl, paste and paste, ga sc. Okay, now that's not going to change the look of our label of our select menu at all, but it is kind of important on the back end once this gets sent to a server. Now, I always like putting in the top one is a choose, and that's value equals null, because then you can have a script look at this. If somebody tries to submit the form and um, something else, and I'll put in name equals state. So if somebody submits this form, it's going to look at the name attribute of the select menu, and then it's going to look at the value of their choice. And it would read something like, OK, state null. Now, if somebody chooses the option null, then that means they didn't choose a state. And then I would have my script send that error message saying, hey, you need to choose the state you live in and that kind of thing. So I'd use that as an error check, as form validation. So there's your basic select menu. Now something else we can do with this is we can group some of our options. So I could put in an opt group tag with a label attribute. And I'll put in southeast here. And then I need a closing opt group tag. I don't use this one too much, but you never know. It could come in handy sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and copy this group. I'll make another one. This will be my... Uh, Northwest, and let's see, we've got uh, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, WA, OR, ID. Excellent. So now that we have these opt groups and these labels, look at the result on our form, on our select menu. So now when I hit that drop down, I get these nice labels in bold, and my options are indented a little bit. So that's an opt group inside of a form. Not necessary, but it could be nice if it's important for you to be able to do this kind of thing. 
All right, and last but not least, I just want to show you a couple extra little um, attributes, but I'm probably going to discourage you from even using these. One of them is the, uh, the size attribute. Check this out real quick. So in my select tag, right after my name attribute, I'll put in something like size equals five. Now when I do this, what that's going to do to my select menu, it allows me to see five options at once. So instead of a drop down select menu, it's now a scrollable select box. And you might be thinking, okay, that's kind of neat, I suppose. I can still choose one of the options out of there. And actually, I don't really have a problem so much with this particular attribute. If you had a, a lot of options, this could be the way to go. But I know you've seen forms where you can choose state, you know, their country, even they've got dozens or, you know, dozens of choices and they still only show you one at a time so there's really no need to do something like this one of the problems by the way is once you select you can hide it and I don't know what I selected anymore here's the worst one here's the one I probably shouldn't even show you but you can put the attribute multiple right inside in fact I don't even need quotes it's just the word multiple so this multiple attribute I can now jump back over to my form there we go, refresh. This will allow me to actually choose multiple options from the select menu. I can click on one option, hold down my control key and select others. Or I can click on one option, hold my shift shift key and select a range. However, this is totally impractical. There's just so many mistakes that can go wrong. Someone can select multiples at one point in the form and then when they scroll down, they can forget to hold a control or shift. They can click something else which will deselect the first ones. So the IRS actually did this on their website you know, 10, 15 years ago, I remember having to use it selecting forms and they had a huge list of various tax forms. Uh, nobody does this anymore. So kind of forget that I even showed you that. That is the um, basically the multiple attribute inside of a select tag. If you really want your user to be able to select multiple items, use that checkbox. Okay, that's what the check checkbox is good for. It allows them to see all the choices and also see exactly what they've chosen. But these others are really good, so I'd like you to keep this in mind when you have to make that drop down selection menu. Each of your options has a value, your select tag has a name, eh, whether you use the size or not, that's really uh, all depends on the kind of form that you're creating, but that is a choice. And of course you have opt groups with their own label attributes, so you can group your options together. Okay, select menus.